Hey, check this out. I got a new knife here. This is a new Swiss Army knife for me. And uh, this guy's by Victor Knox, one of the Swiss Army knife makers. And this is a Ranger Grip 79. So I don't know what all that means, but what I like is it's big and bulky for little wood carving, little bushcraft stuff. It's got a locking blade, which most Swiss Army knives don't have. And uh, in order to release the locking blade, you can just push down on the little logo. The blade goes down. And it also has a pretty nifty little saw. So that's going to be kind of cool for little projects up at the camp. But it's kind of big, so what it needs is a little bit of a leather sheath to slide this guy in. So I'm going to uh, get some leather and uh, we're going to construct that leather sheath so you can watch that happen if you want. Okay. So to wet mold that piece of leather that's coming up, I need to wrap this guy in some cling film. And that will keep it from getting all yucky in there. Job one is to find a suitable piece of leather. Job number next, get it soaking wet. After you got it wrapped in cellophane, you mold it around the knife shape. You got this one backed on a piece of wood. And letting the leather dry. And hopefully it'll shrink up and kind of compress around the shape of the knife. Okay, so here's what's going on. Okay, so I got a little helper here with me today. Say hi. Hi. All right, and we're going to take our knife out of this little uh, clamp situation here. Pulling this lever here. There you go. Yeah, good work, buddy. Okay, well, let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, okay, so there's the knife. And here... Here's well, here's the pouch right here. So, well, okay, this actually turned out pretty nice. Uh, very nice mold job on the inside there. There is going to be a slight little difficulty in that this knife is a little wider down here inside than it is up here. So if you watch as you try to push that out, it's going to try to spread that out a little bit. Now, this leather will be cut off right about there. And so I just got to make sure when I glue that down that I spread the top a little bit so that this knife will slide in and out seamlessly. And what will happen when it slides down in, it'll spread, then it'll kind of pop close back around the knife. So that should work out okay. Mom, I got to fight with a silver guy. Gosh, I don't know, but we are, we got to take care of business here. It looks like a pretty epic battle going on. You gonna need some help? I got one to go. You gonna need some help? Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Whew! I'll tell you what. Battling the forces of evil in an epic battle with a almost six-year-old takes a lot out of you. But we're back in business here, and. Uh, Next couple of things I want to do is kind of start some layout on this. Figure out what we're going to cut, what we're going to keep. Yeah, well, believe it or not, some projects, actually, I have a plan. And I try to follow my plan. And other projects just uh, kind of evolve a little more organically. Meaning that I don't really have a plan. I just kind of visualize... What doesn't look like a leather sheath for this knife and <laughs> just cut everything else off. So it won't be this big, but I need to get I needed to get these edges clipped down a little bit so that I can uh, when I do cement these together and stitch them, I've got a little place I can put some clamps along here. So you may not be able to tell, but this backing piece of leather here is uh, much thicker than my molded piece of leather. So I use this thinner stuff on the molded piece because I can shape it much easier. But this backing piece is gonna be a monster to get uh, my stitching all through, but maybe I'll just drill out the holes or we'll figure out something. Almost, I'm almost thinking that maybe this guy, instead of cutting right there, would really maybe go up like this. 
around here a little bit and then kind of come back in like that. I like. Not too terrible. Look at this little beauty. So, all you'd have to do, this will be strapped down like that. Reach down, grab a hold, out it comes. Slides in nice and tight. Stitching on here will be plenty of tight. I like it. Yep, good. That's my final design right there. And this guy will fold right here. And it'll have a D-ring on it. And it'll be a thing called a dangler. Tell you more about that later. This little beauty here is called a skiving knife. And because uh, that's going to go there, we want to sky that down probably from about here down. Well, this fun stuff here, gum drag. We're going to use that on these edges and try to do a little bit of burnishing. Okay, essentially what happens is it heats up the fibers of the leather and uh, causes it to have a much cleaner, nicer uh, edge on the side of the leather. So this is a lot cleaner than just kind of a raw edge like that. So that's your uh, comparison. Nice, shiny, smooth, rounded, as opposed to this nasty raw edge on the original leather. After this is all glued, this will be cut and taken care of as well. <laughs> so, before I go any further with this little dream, I'm going to, uh, with this backing piece, I'm going to put some stain on it now, because it'll certainly go on better now than it ever will after it's all put together. I've got a little water on there, and uh, I'm unconvinced yet, but I, they say that that helps the stain to soak in a little bit better. And uh, I guess that that's partially true. And I'm going to be a little bit careful to not get too much out by the edges yet because I'll have some contact cement out there. And that'll be covered up with this piece when it goes on the front of there. A little bit of contact cement. This is a little strap cutter. And I think I'm gonna shoot for maybe three quarters of an inch. So there's my three quarters of an inch mark right there. There's actually a little knife blade inside of there. And uh, the idea is you get this baby started here. Once you get it started, it goes pretty nicely. And it cuts a really nice a uh, clean piece of strap. I kind of have a tendency to go for that fairly plain on everything leather that I do rather than you know some fancy tooling basket weave nonsense something like that. There, so that's got a little design to it. Okay, I think my final act for today is to uh, just get this guy cemented together and then tomorrow I'll come back and we'll work on that guy. We've got a little bit ahead of the game here. Uh, I think I last saw that we were making this. I got some stitching on the back, a little D-ring on the top. Last night I put some cement on here and got this guy glued down to this guy. So the idea now is uh, this little baby just slides right in there nice and neat. Yeah, I think we want to 
just kind of round off these corners a little bit. Now, since this is so darn thick along here, I'm definitely going to have trouble getting my uh, pricking iron down through there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just use that to mark the holes and then I may have to drill them out. But first, we'll use this little groover here and uh, we'll get a nice straight line for our stitches. Okay, here's the deal. Try to get a little beeswax on these guys. Then, you just pick a place. What we like about these is it's like a, an awl when you punch a hole through this leather. These things will separate the fibers of the leather as opposed to running through with a drill which essentially cuts some of those fibers of the leather. Alrighty, well there we go. That uh, worked out pretty good. Didn't have to drill. Got all the way through all of those. Here's a little a little uh, st saddle stitch 101 kind of a guy here. So we're going through here. And basically, that's what a saddle stitch is. These two needles go in from opposite directions. Then you pull them tight and move on to the next one. So I'll spare you the rest of that, but eventually I'll end up all the way around the other side. Alrighty, so I think we're getting there. Uh, Resoline, this stuff just kind of seals in the leather and kind of keeps the dye from bleeding through. So get a little bit of Resoline on everything and then uh, buff it out and pretty good. So, got my little punch here. Gonna get some holes punched in here for my snaps. So, let's see. Nice. Snap, snap. Look at that! Aren't you clever? Uh-huh, I am! Sweet! Okay, well, heck, man. Let's put a fork in this. Let's wrap this up. I think I'll put my name on the back of there. It's going to look like this. Boom. That guy just drops right in there. Little snaps go down here. It's got this little guy called a dangler. And uh, that lets it sort of sit on your belt, but also rotate just a little bit. So if you're sitting down or... Uh, Climbing or something, you can kind of have that get out of the way a little. There you go. Thought we put on just a little bit of secret sauce here to finish this guy up. And uh, this is olive oil, olive oil and beeswax. Okay. I'm kind of thinking right here. All right, we'll call it good. Thanks for watching.